colors. This is for people who think interracial marriage is a sin and so-called white people can't be saved. But before I get into all of that, I want to discuss this term race, which is an artificial construct. According to Acts 17, 26, the father made all nations on the face of this earth from one blood. Now, there are different ethnicities of humankind, but all humans had the same physical characteristics with minor variations, of course. The second thing I want to discuss before I get to my main point is you have certain groups of individuals out here that claim scripture as their foundational viewpoint uh, when looking at the world, but yet in the same breath will tell you that the white man so-called evolved from Neanderthals. Never mind the possibility the human migration in the new European territories created selective skin pressures favoring less skin pigmentation so more sunlight can be absorbed through the skin to make vitamin D. I'm still waiting for somebody to show me in scripture where the father created a subhuman species or any class of humanoids. So let's kill a Neanderthal thing. You either going to stand for Yahweh's plan for creation or you're going to stand behind the scientist's evolutionary theory. Which one is it going to be? The third thing I want to touch on with a lot of my skin folk is this whole white man is the devil doctrine. Where can I find this at in scripture? Book, chapter, and verse. You have many so-called black Hebrew Israelites that will speak on the devil being the so-called white man without any scriptural evidence supporting that claim whatsoever. But I want you to consider this. We know through archaeological evidence and ancient manuscripts that the 12 disciples were men of color. And in the book of John, chapter 6, verse 70, the Messiah says out his own mouth that one of you is the devil. Speaking to the disciples, he never said this about the white man. So how much more devil the men of color are that run around here preaching the melanin deficient individual is a devil. Now it's time to let this white man devil doctrine fruit of Islam rhetoric go because that's exactly where it come from. Got people talking about we in captivity. Galatians 5, 1, the Messiah says, I have made you free. Running around, got people talking about the white man is the enemy. When scripture teaches that if your ways are pleasing to the Father, he causes even your enemies to be at peace with you. And in the book of Luke chapter 10, verse 19, we find we have authority to trample serpents. We have been given power to have authority over the enemy. So what's your excuse? Then you got those out there that say the white man or Gentiles can't be saved. Then they make programs and videos trying to debunk John 3.16, which says the father so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son into the world that whoso should ever believe in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Now they twist this with other scriptures and make it fit only the salvation of black Israel or only Israel will be saved. But it was prophesied in Isaiah 49, 6, that says his servant will be a light to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be my salvation unto the ends of the earth. Now that's an Old Testament prophecy. In Acts 26, 17 and 18, we read that the Messiah sent Paul to his people, the Israelites, and to the Gentiles that they may receive forgiveness of sins and an inheritance with those who are sanctified by faith in Hamashiach. So if salvation wasn't for the Gentiles or the so-called white man, explain 1 John 2 and 2, which reads, the Messiah is the atoning sacrifice, not just for our sins, but for the whole world. They can't explain this because that means they would have to throw out the whole New Testament. Hey, GLE, come on. The Messiah told the woman that he has come only to the lost children of Israel because he is the salvation of Yah. And as it is written, Romans 1 16, salvation comes first to the Jew and then to the Gentile or Greek. As they say in the world, it's levels to this stuff. Just like we find in 1 Corinthians 11.3 with the hierarchy in the family structure. And Acts 28.28 28 only confirms this fact. 
Now, if you still watching and I haven't pissed you off yet, I think I'm about to. Can I get a drum roll, please? Because I gave it a time. Interracial marriage is not a sin. A long history of racism, especially in America, has made certain groups of people believe that it is absolutely immoral to marry somebody out your own skin color or so-called race. And down throughout the course of this American history, a number of attempts have been made to try to use the Bible to justify why it's immoral or why it's a sin to be interracially married. Now, the ancient Israelites, the Hebrews, were forbidden to marry people from other nations, the Canaanites and the nations around them. Take a look at Exodus 34, 11 through 16 and Deuteronomy 7, 1 through 3. And you'll see the reason why that was was because those people worshipped idols, not because of a so-called race or because of a so-called skin color. The Hebrews, Amorites, Moabites and other people surrounding Israel were all people of color and they were all racially similar yet we were forbidden to marry these people because eventually they will lead our hearts astray from the father and nowhere in scripture does skin color become a factor for not marrying that only exists in the minds of man and for all my sisters out there i want y'all to know that self-exaltation doesn't look good on the daughters of zion saying one race is superior to another race. Moses was married to an Ethiopian woman, a Cushite, and Elohim was mad at Miriam for criticizing that marriage. Just check out the book of Numbers chapter 12. Now Acts 10, 34 through 35 says, Then Peter began to speak. Now I understand that Elohim doesn't show favoritism. But in every nation, the person who fears him and does righteous is acceptable to him. And this is right in keeping with what we read in the Old Testament back in 1 Samuel 16, 7, Acts 10, 45. And they of the circumcision, the Jews, Israel, which believed were astonished, as many as came with Peter, because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the set apart spirit. Now, if the set-apart spirit doesn't discriminate, who are you to discriminate concerning marriage? Especially if the set-apart spirit is with righteous men and women from out of every nation and with all types of skin color. Why would you continue to let the color of someone's skin be a stumbling block for you when choosing a life partner? If she is a Proverbs 3130 woman and we're in the same faith and she keeps the commandment and the love is there, it don't matter whether she white, black, yellow, whatever. If the love is there, I'm there. But in this age, uh, due to social influence and the amount of civil unrest we see on TV, you got certain brothers out there that would rather join themselves to a Jezebel, a spiritual harlot, rather than choose a more suitable life partner, uh, a woman, a uh, melanin deficient maybe, um, a lighter skin tone than them, even if she has the same mindset and worships the same mighty one and keeps the same precepts, they would rather be joined to a Jezebel than a so-called white woman. Well, you and Jezebel both want to incur the father's wrath. Now, I know they're going to call me an Edomite loving coon. Oh, no, he didn't. But yeah, I did because I'm tired of this and it's foolishness and it's time to let this stuff go. The next thing they're going to try to tell me is I must be blind to all the racial tension that's going on that runs rampant in this country today. Just look on the news, they'll say. But that's the problem with you not me because you got to understand something my hands extend beyond my own backyard and my eyes see past the last 400 years i'm not on black people's side i'm not on white people's side how much is the only side i choose those that do the will of my father in heaven lives matter those that keep the commandments lives matter hebrew lives matter now, I love my women of color, but I wish your sister would try to run up on me, especially if I'm out with a white woman. And she tries to tell me that the woman I'm with isn't worthy of me, that she is a Gentile. 
that she will be a slave in the future kingdom to come because of the color of her skin. You sound like a racist. Because you are racist. And I know what they're going to say. That cone ass nigga. I don't care. I'm unaffected by what people think. I know persecution 10 times harder than that will come down my dwelling soon enough. And if you think the scripture is about colors, then you have missed the point. We all know that the Bible was mostly dealing with people of color. We all know that the Europeans have been lying about history and rewriting things to suit them. But there are righteous, y'all fearing individuals from out of each and every nation on this planet, Caucasian, Indian, Middle Eastern, Sub-Saharan, Mediterranean, North America, South America, Australia, white, black, yellow, purple, green, blue. Nah, I'm just kidding. But you get the point. It's time y'all get that hating out y'all heart. It's not a good look on y'all. And remember, John 7, 24, judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Yeah, I know I'm a cone, but my name not important.